okay hooks.py file right so every custom app has this file at the root not directly the root the root like of the folder inside so if you collapse it it is at the same level as www it is called hooks.py file open it up it has some stuff already defined for you and many comments to help you get started because there are lots of folks right 217 lines of comments just for just as a documentation yeah so it has the app name that you gave it to app title this all we typed while we were creating the new app right so this all is set here and this is the app description that we provided the license and so on and so forth and there are like many hooks won't go into all of them three i want to cover are uh, so there are like a lot of hooks permission query condition that someone was asking then you can override doc type classes yeah so let's start fixtures let's learn about fixtures so what are fixtures, right? So let me show you by an example. I will go to our site that we created. And I will create a new doc type just for this demonstration purposes. I will call it vehicle type, right? So maybe it contains the list of what all vehicle types a vehicle can be, right? So let's store it in our custom app that is fleet management track changes track scene track views that's fine i'll go to form view and for naming rule i will say set by user so user gets to choose what he wants to call this vehicle type go back to this and i will change this title to description right and make it a small text field Hit save. Awesome. And uh, I'll go to vehicle type list and create a few vehicle types. Two wheeler. Two wheeler. Or two wheel vehicle. Right. Uh, let's create another one. Four wheel. F O U R O V L A R A vehicle with four wheels. Uh, heavy truck. Heavy truck is obviously a heavy truck. Okay, cool. Now we have this records. Uh, let's do one thing. What we can do is in vehicle, we can add one link field. Link field. And here, what I will do is I will do type. And this will be linked to vehicle type. Let's hit save. Go to vehicle list. And now I can choose a type, right? So maybe this car is a four wheeler. This vehicle is a four, four wheeler, right? So this is that. But now if I push the app in the current state and someone installs it, this will be empty, right? They would have to create vehicle types of their own. And suppose these are very standard in my country. This will always be there this will be useful to everyone, right? So I want these three records to be created automatically on that site. Whoever installs my app, you have out of the box, you get three types, but then you can create your own types. So this is not, there is select field, but in select field, they can't add options, right? So the good way is to go here, add a link field, a doc type, and then they will be able to create new doc types. But how about how we go about doing like making sure these three records are created for them. Right. So let's go 
to vehicle type list. These are the three. So this is where fixtures come in. So in fixtures, you can define, okay, I have this doc type, right? Export this documents for this doc type. And whenever, like, whenever the user, any user installs my app on their site, create this documents by default. So let's see how that happens. So I will jump back to my hooks.py file. So fixtures is not documented here. So we will jump to the top here and create a fixtures. Fixtures is a list. So you can export multiple doc types. But for now I will do fixtures and do vehicle type. And this won't do anything automatically. You have to tell Bench to export fixtures, right? This app might be installed on 10 sites, but you only we only want to export this three, which are part of this ff.dev site, right? How do we do that? We go to our Bench, clear Bench, there's the site, ff.dev, export fixtures, hit enter. And it exporting vehicle type fixtures Done. Filters are none. So we didn't apply filters. We can apply filters as well. That okay, only ex only export uh, vehicle types that are that have a check marked as standard, right? This can be useful. But what what happened? Where did the fixtures go? There was a fixtures folder created, right? And in there, a JSON file was created called vehicle underscore type. And in here are the three records that we want to be created on a user side. So now this will automatically, so whenever they install our app, these three records will be created for them for vehicle type automatically. When does that happen? And if you change something here, run bench migrate, they have to run bench migrate when they update. And again, the records will be created properly if they are not present yet. Awesome, right? So you can add filters. So you have to then change it to a dictionary, right? So I will show you. So you can do. So instead of string, you do a dictionary. Doc type is vehicle type and Filters is uh, maybe what do we do? So let's add a checkbox, right? So we have something to filter on. So I will go to vehicle type and in the form view, I will add a checkbox. Is standard. Maybe we are trying to replicate the a standard feature. And uh, let's hit save. Okay, again, that issue is fine. We will add it again. So we will add a check field. We'll call it is standard. Hit save. Go to vehicle list and we will check off is standard for heavy truck and a two wheeler. Now we'll come here and add is standard is one means either you could put true here or zero. And now again, what, what do I need to run? Export fixtures. As you can see filters was this, this was applied. And now you will see only two records where is standard was one was exported. Clear. This was all about fixtures. So either you provide a string in that case, all of the records will be exported or you convert it into a dictionary and then you can define the doc type and filters. And then you do export fixtures. It will export a JSON file in the fixtures folder. And whenever someone installs your app, this will be automatically created at the migrate step. Done. So a lot of places we use it, but yeah, very useful where you have some fixed data that you want to be created on all instances where your app is installed.
cool we are done with fixtures doc events i will quickly cover so search for doc underscore events so i'll remove everything doc events is an object as opposed to a dictionary is a dictionary as opposed to a list of fixtures so here what you can do is so you have a doc type in your custom app right so we have this driver dot p y five and we can write hooks here right okay whenever our driver document is saved before save just set the last name but what if that doc type is not in your custom app right it is there but not your custom apps part so you want to run some code just like before save after uh, insert in before insert before save so on and so forth so this is where document hooks come in so what you can do is you can say okay whenever a new so i have we have a blog post doc type in frappe whenever so it will be like okay for blog post on update or uh, on so there are like hooks uh, let's try what do we do whenever the blog post is before insert in this case i want to run some code right so i can't write the code directly here i have to write a function somewhere and then do a dotted path here so let's go to our api here only i will write that code okay def handle blog post handle new blog post suppose you are sending a telegram message or something to some place handle new blog post and then you do some stuff here so now you can give a dotted path to this function fleet management dot api dot handle new blog post fleet management dot api dot handle new blog post right so now what will happen whenever blog post new blog post is created that is before insert it will call your apps this function this one so now you can even hook into standard doc types or the doc types from erp next or some other app and if you do star right <laughs> that's a wild card it means before creation of any document so this means all doc types so this before insert will run on before insert of every <laughs> doc type don't don't do this like unless you know what you are doing don't do this like very performance it will run on every insert of every doc type right so yeah make sense documents is clear any questions 